We really have a lot of options for men who've had vasectomies. One choice would be to have a microsurgical vasectomy reversal. This has become a very minor procedure that can be done in an outpatient setting that restores fertility to pre-vasectomy status. The other option, however, would be to perform a sperm aspiration procedure, which actually has become quite easy as well for those of us trained in microsurgery. One of them involves potentially restoring fertility without the use of any other technology. The other involves using in vitro fertilization procedures. The benefits of having a vasectomy reversal are somewhat obvious. It restores the male to his pre-vasectomy state and then allows the couple to have a child at home. One of the reasons people might choose to have sperm aspiration done rather than a vasectomy reversal is that it maintains the vasectomy for the couple as a form of birth control. It may also be a faster way to achieve pregnancy for some couples. We have a whole range of procedures available for sperm aspiration, and it really depends on the couple, but many of those procedures will allow a couple to freeze or cryopreserve sperm for future use so that the male will never have to do that again. We see another population of men who have not had vasectomies who have fertility issues that might require sperm aspiration procedures. These are also very easy to do and also create the outcome that we want, which is a healthy baby. Both vasectomy reversal and sperm aspiration procedures are minor outpatient procedures that are easily tolerated by the male. He can have it done and pretty much be back at work within a couple days. I think the choice that a couple makes in terms of deciding between vasectomy reversal and sperm aspiration procedures and in vitro fertilization is very personal. It depends very much on whether they may want more than one child moving forward, perhaps on female issues, and perhaps just on their philosophy on how to move forward.